the house. <laughs> Stay with us as we continue. Tanya Mitchell, who opened last night for In Sync, will be with us in a minute. Don't go away. When NSYNC played The Vet last night, guess who was there? Tanya Mitchell. She opens for him. There she was in front of 65,000 plus fans in South Philadelphia. And she has been with NSYNC since the tour began. And we welcome her to the program. It's nice to have you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. How'd you get the job? Wow. <laughs> well, Justin Timberlake's mom's my manager. So mm -hmm. that kind of... When you walk out, first of all, are they screaming for the minute you walk out, or do they reserve that for the guys? They're amazing. I mean, the the audience is just so loud. I mean, I can't believe it. Can you it. hear yourself? Yeah, but I mean, because I've heard the Beatles say that when it, when they had their day, they just simply couldn't hear themselves. Can you can you hear yourself? Yes, I can hear myself. You can hear yourself. Yes. Okay. And is there any kind of nervousness attached to that? I mean, how long have you been singing, Tiny? Um, professionally since I was 15 and I'm 18 now. So, I mean... What's the biggest crowd you've played to? Like 200, besides the stadium. So now it's like 65,000 people. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay. before you step out on stage in front of 65,000 people, is there a little bit of nervousness there? A little bit, but I don't really get much nervous anymore. I just, once I hit the stage, I'm, I'm great. Now, you have an album out now? Yes, it's in stores now. And it's called I Represent? Uh-huh. And do you write your own stuff? Um, I haven't yet, but um, hope to soon for the second album. What is, uh, obviously people, there's the inevitable comparison to other well-known young women who are singers, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. Right. Um, how are you different from them? Well, you know, it's really hard to say because you're always going to be compared, mm -hmm. no matter, you know. So um, just basically, you know, I'm Tanya, I'm not Brittany, I'm not Jessica, I'm not trying to be anybody. Mm -hmm. I make my own music and it's my own style. Where are you from? Tennessee. Really? Um, when you travel with the group, I mean, do you travel in the same plane, the same bus with these guys? I mean, you're, are you with them constantly in same? Um, no, I don't even really see them that much. Really? I have my own bus. So. Wow. Well, <laughs> bus. My goodness. Aren't we coming up in the world? <laughs> Um, how, how do you like the life of a traveling entertainer? It, is there a point at which you say, you know what, I really need a vacation? You know what, I really love it. I've do had you? so much fun. I mean, I love sleeping on the bus, which is probably weird, but I love it. I, I love being on the road. How much of that is, is helped by the fact that your mom is with you? Oh, a lot. So you've got family there. Right. Yes, a lot. <laughs> no long distance phone calls. What about back home, though? I mean, do you miss back home? I do. My dad's there, my puppies, and I miss my puppies. Uh-huh. And, and what would you like to do? If you, if you could look at a crystal ball five years from now, where would you like to be? Um, I would really like to make, like, many successful albums. Mm -hmm. And I really want to get into some acting. And I was going to ask you that. Any acting aspirations? Oh, definitely. And really? fashion designing. Mike, this is, <laughs> this is a one-woman industry. You can't stop this woman. Um, what's at the top of the list, though, in terms of uh, music for you? Uh, where do you want to go musically? Um, I want to collaborate with other artists, you know, maybe do some duets, maybe write with some people, and mm -hmm. just, you know, go out there and just do concerts and do my thing. Do people presume that because you're from the South that you automatically lean toward country? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I get that a lot, because growing up, I always sang country. That's all I did, growing up. But you up. don't now? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll watch for you in the movies, on TV, and opening for NSYNC. Tanya Mitchell, thank you so much. Thank you. Stay with us as we continue our sleep on this. Comes up next. Don't go away. <laughs> Finally, this little tidbit from Jill Steinbeck, who is a fitness trainer. If you want to have a nice romantic evening, go out and have some pasta and go home to bed to sleep because it's full of carbs and it'll make you real tired. <laughs> Good night, everybody.